What's happening, guys? It's big Champions League night. I don't know why I'm saying big, because we're not really expecting a big result tonight. But it is the game that everyone's talking about, because everyone's expecting us to get ridiculed, and I am kind of expecting it too. But before that, let me just say, this is something new I'm doing. To, for, mm. This is something new I've decided to do for my channel for today, simply because... Because of Arsenal's recent form and how they haven't really been getting no results, four wins in 14, I can never seem to motivate myself to pick up myself to then pick up a camera to record my opinion on the game to put it on YouTube because I'm normally just deflated and I don't even want to talk about the game anymore. So I've decided for this game, just to get some content out and see you guys, I thought I would just do a match react. Oh my gosh, I won't be starting. See, I'm, I was running behind... I didn't even see the starting 11. Oh, big 45. Oh, where are we starting? What's going on here? Okay, so yeah, I decided to do a match reaction to like talk about the game whilst I'm watching it because otherwise I would never record a video after what's about to go down tonight. So if you don't like it, it's cool. Let me know in the comments below, but be nice about it, you know, be friendly. Um, but if you do like it, give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and also be very nice about it. Um, but yeah, let's get into this game, yo. That will be actual banter. If Welbeck and Awobi actually banged goals tonight. You know, like, I normally praise Flamini in my videos, but can someone please tell me what role he thinks he plays? Like, he's always out of position. Like, at first, before, I used to think he was out of position because we didn't have the players in the right positions in the squad to begin with. But we have players that play their position, so... Why does he think he's a striker? Why does he think he's a striker? Why does he think he's a why does he think he's a winger? <laughs> why does he think he's a number like why does he think he's a number nine? Or why does he think he's a number ten? Offside, no. Hey! Jesus Lord. And it's only now you're putting up the offside flag. Really, linesman, really? Making us have heart attacks for no reason. I thought they were gonna finish us in the first ten minutes. Little chip in there for Messi. To, who's at Suarez, who is miles offside, and I'm waiting for the linesman to say something, and they continue playing. If that would have went in, because even the defence looked a bit messy there, I would have been fuming. But yeah, someone told Flemley to get back to CDM. Where, or whatever role, whatever role it is that he plays, please. <laughs> Wait, I just read the funniest... Tw Hold on a minute. Go on the attack here. Go on, Azil. Oh, Danny, what are you doing, mate? Jesus, Ozil took a strike. I I've never seen him do that in my life. He's the more the finesse type. Quickly chip it in. I don't even know what happened to Wobbit there. He just slipped on nothing. It is raining there to be fair, but fuck man, there's no time to be slipping. No time to be acting like Gerard. Oh! Did the spinner just re what? Listen, we're gonna win this game. Did the spinner really just save Messi's goal like that? Everybody expected that to go in, even the commentator, because he said, oh, what a touch. Like, he had to remix what he was going to say, because he was going to say, what a goal. But it wasn't a goal, was it? Denied. Access. Denied. Hold tight, Spina. I have faith in you. I mean, I don't, but I do now. Ah, oh, what's happening? Here we go. Oh, here we go. Flip, Neymar. <laughs> I mean, yeah, started. Right, guys, 1-0. 18th minute. Are you just This is. I need to get BT Sport, bruv. The stream just locked off. Like you know, a moment ago I was praising our defense. I don't know why. Just because we defended two goals. <laughs> our defense is shocking. This is like watching lunchtime football. Like when we was in year six. Not even secondary football, bruv. Like when we was in year six. Woo! Thank you, Aspina, with the safe hands. Their name. I tried to go for a second. A nice low drive. It was a nice low ball. That's the first yellow from Flam. It's all. <laughs> I should have said this at the beginning because I expected it, but I forgot to say it. But we all expected it. Let's just hope that he gets subbed off before he gets that second yellow because Flam loves a card, boy. Ah, yeah, like he's playing poker. You won't be. You should have stayed on your feet, bro. You should have stayed on your feet. Was it a clip? I can't even see. He didn't look like it from here. He wasn't clipped, you know. Oh, Wobi! It Wobs! Why did you trip over your own foot like that, Gigi? Never mind. I'm just gonna put that one down to nerves because this is a big, this is a, this is a big deal for a young man 
who's not even a regular first team player like that. You just made it into first team and he's out here playing in the new camp already. Like, you know when you're nervous when you're young, your legs just turn, or even when you're big, old, to be honest, your legs just turn to jelly and they just start doing a madness. You can't even feel your legs. I reckon that's what just happened. Because how did he, how did your leg do this? How did you, huh? Nerves, nerves. Oh, uh, another one flipping off range. Another one off target. Compose yourself, Phil. I don't even know why I'm even getting riled up. I wasn't expecting anything from the game. But when we get any positions like this, how can you not get riled up? The boys are on the run. The boys are on the run. Go on, Welps. What the fuck was that? What? Do you know what's so frustrating, yeah? All this... Oh, I'm so sad. I'm going to be sad when Azil and Sanchez leave. Who said they're leaving? Where are they going? Like, Sanchez ain't playing better than nobody else on this team right now. Azil's doing all right. Like, they're not the Don Dudders of the team right now. The whole team is flat out, dry, dead. Like, this game right here, we've had about, let's say, seven chances. They wouldn't even gone in even... Even if Barcelona didn't have a goalkeeper right now, they wouldn't have gone in. That's how dead we are at attacking. Don't, like, all this Azil and Sanchez leaving, they're not doing great themselves. Azil had a shot. Sanchez had a shot. Okay, close, but... They don't even need a goalkeeper to be in goal for it to be... For it. Like, yo, are you getting my point? We would still be losing even if there wasn't a goalkeeper in Barcelona's goal. That is how dead our finishing is. I don't know what that has to do with Ezil and Sanchez leaving, but please stop saying it. Because you're putting the idea in their heads. And they're thinking, rah, like, do that man think I'm too good to be here? Because maybe I am. You're not. You're not better than no one right now. You're all shit. Let me not say that. I'm actually behind the team. That was wrong. I am behind the team. They're not shit. They're just not in form right now. I don't know why. We need answers. What's happening? What is happening? Like, I'm not expecting this to be the day where we turn it all around and all of a sudden we start winning. It would be amazing. It would be miraculous. But it's not the day that's going to happen. Oh, we're bringing in Cockerland. Maybe for Flamini? Yeah. What happened? Maybe, maybe Wenger's team sign is like, yep, he's about to get a second yellow. Let me take him off real quick. See, I predicted that. This is about to be like our worst month in football history where we're about to go out of all three competitions. Because I've got a feeling that we're going to lose against Everton on is it Saturday or on Sunday too. So yeah, this is about to be the worst month to be an Arsenal fan right now. But we've got to stay behind the team, you know. I don't know what we can do to improve this. So the half is up and judging by my timeline, everybody is saying... Oh, okay, not everybody. All the non-Arsenal supporters are saying Arsenal are playing very well here. That's, you're only saying that because we've had chances. That's not playing well. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's not well enough. It's because we've had so many chances. How many chances do we actually need to get a goal? How many chances? It's like 101, like 100 shots and you get a goal. Like, it's ridiculous. It's like our chances of winning the league. It's slim. Very slim. Let's have a look at what some of the tweets say during half time. You're not going to believe this, but Arsenal keep creating shots in the six yard box and still haven't scored from them. I am going to believe that, Thomas. I can bloody believe it. I don't think Arsenal actually do shooting practice in training. Yikes. Okay. Messi Minute says, Arsenal really playing well here. Excellent movement off the ball and really positive play. If only our finishing wasn't shy. If only. For example, Awobi's back pass into Welbeck's pass there was phenomenal. It was. The 19-year-old is really holding his own so fast tonight. He is, except for that little buckle he did on himself and the shot off target. It's been all right. Awobi out there looking like a seasoned vet. Very promising. So yeah, what's the general consensus there? We just need to finish our chances because we're actually getting them. And this is what's let us down this year, this part of the season. Even though we haven't been getting the results, we've been we've ha actually had chances in front of goals so many times. This is not a flattering angle at all, but we've had so many chances and that is, that is our biggest problem. What is it down to though? Is it down to us not having a world-class striker, which we keep screaming for every season? I don't know. I don't think we even need like Welbeck gets himself into prime positions the, the last few games that he's played in. He's been in perfect positions to score goals. It's just down to the finishing. So is it does 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 he need more training or 
do we need a world-class striker? I mean, let me know. What is, what is it? What do we need? Because the chances are there. They're being created. It's just not being finished. And that has been our problem for the last three seasons. I feel like I've... Or more, actually. I feel like I've said that so many times. We just don't finish. And that, that was especially with Giroud up front. But that was because he was playing alone up front. Guys... I don't even know why I'm getting stressed. We're playing against Barcelona. Is it me or does Sanchez look scared to... Has he lost confidence? And why? How do players lose confidence? This is a real discussion that we need to have at some point because... How, Sway? Like, how do you let confidence get to you? You are Alexis Sanchez. Don't nobody, don't let nobody bring you down. Or then again, it may not be confidence. It may... He... Hold on. The goalkeeper looks confused. He's like, how? Sway, how? Come on. Come on, you Arsenal. Let's go out with some dignity. Or let's stay in. Let's stay in. Yo. Nice little assist from Alexis there. I was just talking about you, son. I was just talking about you. And then you go and provide an assist like that. And then he smacks it in. Oh, you see the curve on that. All right. All right, guys. What was I even going to say? Oh, I was going to say maybe Alexis needs a rest because if you remember last season, we outplayed him in every season, in every competition. I felt like he played almost every game. Yes, a spina with the hands. Yes, bro. Um, so maybe it's just catching up on him. It's either confidence or rest or both, which would be a damn shame. But I'm going to go with rest because he doesn't seem like the type of guy that will lack confidence. I mean, why? Why would you? So, yeah, next season he'll be back properly. Woo! Thank you, Espina, for saving that because that back heel from Neymar to Messi was very... you got to be quick to catch... you got to be sharp to catch that. And our defenders ain't looking too sharp right now. So, thank God Espina got on the end of that. That goal was that goal floated. Was it Neymar? I think Neymar crossed it. It floated. Everyone looked around like, oh, where's that gonna land? Oh, Messi will take that. Was it bro? I wasn't even looking. I was looking at the timeline. Let me be honest. I don't even know who scored that, but I saw the finish and it bounced off the crossbar and it was just so rude. Yes, ball awobi! No! Well, Beck, come on, son. Come on, Danny boy. Come on, Danny boy. Come on. What a ball, though. Your thoughts before the game, and then what did you expect out of it after on any squad? Please do let me know. Because I'm getting really excited right now, really thinking that we could actually win this. Ah, oh, football. You are so funny. The timeline currently consists of the bidding price that we put for Luis Suarez. Literally, bare tweets say 40 million and one pound. <laughs> Just to remind ourselves that we didn't get him because of a very, insert word here, how you would describe that bid. Oof, stupid. <laughs> that bid is banter. I will never think, 40 million and one pound. What, what, what were we doing? What was we thinking? With the way we play and the way Suarez finishes, we wouldn't be in the predicament we are in right now. I guarantee you'd be top of the league. There would be no lack of confidence. We'll be beating Barcelona. We would win the FA Cup again. It would just be a, f a phenomenal season. An absolute phenomenal season. There will be no Wenger outs. <laughs> I mean, bro, like, seriously, do the maths. Our play, his finishing... Our problem is finishing. Luis Suarez can finish. Arsenal plus Luis Suarez equals winning. Jeez, oh, it doesn't take a genius. Who bids forty million and one pound? What did they? Did did Wenger and the board think? Did did was what, bruh? I just I just don't know. I just don't know. Listen, now that Messi's got the captain badge right now, and yes, it's going off. Messi is about to level up. He's like, alright, cool. Sorry, this goal was a bit better than mine. 
Let me go again. I'm captain now. I'm the captain now. It's about to go off. It's about to get peak. Mm -hmm. You know when your confidence boosts, like you know when you get a trim and you, yeah, that's how it feels right now. Captain armband. Oh, it's finished. We're finished. Okay, Arsenal's got a change too now, so I guess my prediction of. Oh, and Welbeck's off as well. So my prediction of Iwobi and Welbeck getting a goal has gone out the window. Now we've put on the birthday boy Theo Walcott. And I don't know who else came on for him because they didn't show and they haven't put it at the bottom of the screen either. So I'm guessing it's Giroud. Yeah, he is. I can see him. All right, cool. So, oh, fresh trim. Giroud's got a fresh trim. He's feeling confident. He's going to score. He's going to bang. Let's have a quick view of the timeline. See their thoughts on the changes. Double change for Arsenal. Giroud and Walker on for Robin Welbeck. We're going to score so many goals now. I'm sensing a bit of sarcasm. <laughs> Great Walker is coming on. We're definitely going to win now. Cheeky. As always, Wenger takes off Arsenal's best two performing players. I, once for once, agree with you, Piers Morgan there. He is. Uh, he always, he's, he's been doing that a lot recently. Like when he takes off Joel Campbell. And I just don't get it. But um, I actually agree with you, Piers. He's taken off, all right, not our two best performing players, but they've been performing extremely well. But um, Awobi and Welbeck off the game was already over, but it's even more over now. <laughs> okay, so no one's really feeling the changes there. Can I just put it out there? Theo Walcott is bant. I mean, I have never liked the kid. And I feel so rude saying that. Like, I remember when there was a big hype when he joined, oh, this young kid from Southampton. Like, I was like, okay, let's see him. And I've, I've actually never been impressed with him. Like, I've never been like, what, for like a whole season? Like, I've never looked back on the season and been like, do you know what? That Theo Walcott was a great signing for us, wasn't he? Like, it will just be after certain games when he scored a decent goal. I'm like, yes, Walcott. But it's never, I've never, I haven't appreciated him. And that's got to say something because he's been here for 10 years and all now I still do not appreciate him. And I, I feel so guilty saying that, but it's true. Jeez. Bans. I can't take him seriously as a player. Just not kind of it for me. Sorry for anyone that's a big Theo Walcott fan. I remember, oh my gosh, my dad took me to an Arsenal game once. And he took me to the Emirates Armoury shop to buy an Arsenal shirt. And he was like, who do you want on the back of your shirt? Before I even answered him, he put Walcott on the back of my shirt. And I remember being so fucking angry. And this was in 2011. This was in 2011. I was angry. It was a blue away kit. You know, uh... I wonder where that is actually. I probably gave it away because <laughs> I don't know where it is. I was fuming. How can I be fuming about having any player on the back of my shirt? I just, that's how much I don't respect him. And it's so bad. So, so bad. I mean, does anyone feel the same way? Please tell me you do so I can feel better about saying this. I just think he's trash. Sorry, apologies. Oh my gosh, that's so rude. Anyway, back to the game. And stop insulting players. Arsenal free kick. Sanchez to take. Ooh! Drood! What? Oh! Three, three chances in the space of three seconds, bro, and none of them went in. The fact that I feel like a pending Messi goal coming is annoying me. Like. I just, oh my God, I just jinxed myself. Like I've been saying the messy goal is coming and then it just happens as soon as I've finished my sentence. That's it. MSN has scored. They've done what they've came to do. MSN, MSN. I won't be surprised if some idiot Barcelona fans got MSN tattooed on them. Flipping egg. Of course all three of them would score. Why not? Why wouldn't they score? Why not? In their own backyard, of course. Of course. Spina could have done better there though, you know. Why did he end up on his knees? Yo, Spina. No, you could have done better there, you know, bro. Messi finessed you. Oh. <sighs> Game over? 
Yeah, game over. 88th minute, it's 3 1. What more did we expect? Game finishes 3 1 in a very rainy new camp. I mean, some of us thought we were going to get PSG like a whole 9 0. Our defense ain't that bad. Come on. It's not the best of results. It's not the best way to exit a competition. Yeah, who cares? Like, I actually care. I feel like, what's the purpose of watching Arsenal anymore for the rest of this season? We're out of the FA Cup. We're out of the Champions League, as usual. And we're potentially about to be out of the Premier League. If we lose, on, on, if we lose to Everton, it's just, what is the point? <laughs> What is the point? Obviously, as an Arsenal fan, I'm still going to watch the game and try to get behind my team. It's just going to be like, what is the actual point? What were your views on the game, though? What did, would you expect in a result like that? Did, are you happy with that result? I mean, no, that was a stupid question. How could you be happy with that result? I mean, where do we go from here, guys? What's the rest of the season looking like for us? Please do let me know your opinions. Comment them down in the comment section below. And also, if you prefer me doing this uh let me know in the comments if not also let me know and i will catch you on the flip side i will admit though if we do lose against everton you probably won't see me again for the rest of this season so yeah you better fucking win Ooh, if you can score a goal <laughs> I wanna know if you beat, I mean, if you'd score a goal, hold tight, RV. I, I don't like Spurs on Twitter for that chant. I think we should get that going. I'm liking that. <laughs>